Hi folks, uh, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. We're just going to briefly look at the history of New Testament studies. Uh, the information uh, is gleaned from uh, a paper by F. F. Bruce on the history of the Testament. I read it last night. Uh, it's uh, a really good paper. And uh, I'm just going to read a few quotes from it. The picture that you see before you is uh, Dr. Wallace and his uh, people who work with him. Uh, there, they're photographing uh, old New Testament, uh, yeah, old New Testament manuscripts, ancient manuscripts. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing there, photographing. And uh, there's a lot of work at the moment going on by Dr. Wallace and many scholars, mm -hmm. uh, where they found many, many other ancient manuscripts of the New Testament. Uh, so, as you see that picture, you're seeing uh, people getting on with that work of uh, studying the New Testament. And that's what we're going to look at now, is we're just going to have a brief look, a brief quick survey of um, the history of New Testament studies. You can get this article, it's a 36 page article, uh, and it's uh, on www.biblicalstudies.org.uk, the history of the New Testament study by F. F. Bruce. And, um, I'll just be skirting the surface, rem trying to remember things that I, uh, I read last night and just giving you a few quotes. One of the first early uh, students of the New Testament was uh, Clement of Rome, uh, who, was, uh, who wrote um, round about AD 96. And he quotes um, quite a bit of Paul and uh, he was a key thinker uh, at that time. F.F. F. Bruce says also the Logos quote the Logos doctrine of the Jonine prologue was naturally treated by those who have been educated in Greek culture in terms of the Logos of the philosopher Justin Martin argued that men like Socrates would embrace the Logos in the form of true reason without knowing it Christian before Christ end of quote. Um, so the Gospel of John and the Logos theology was important in the early church for the development of reflection on the New Testament. Then you had uh, the Marcion and his school. Marcion, uh, a heretic in around about AD 140, said anything Jewish in the Gospels or any of the uh, New Testament should be taken out and he made up his own canon. Uh, people like Tertullian uh, dealt with Marcion. Then you had Irenaeus and Origen. Uh, Irenaeus um, was in the province of Asia, became Bishop of Lyons in Rhodes Valley, AD 177, was an interpreter of New Testament books and an expositor and a defender against Gnosticism. Uh, Origen was a master exegete, um, like he was of Alexandria, Caesarea, around about 185 to 254. And he was an absolute master, and he used the allegorical method of interpretation. Then you have the school of Antioch. Um, you have the great Antiochian exegetes, says. Uh, um, you have Theodore 